In this video, we're going to see how to use tools inside of Fusion 360, such as Find Features, to allow us to quickly make changes on imported geometry. In this example, let's say we are designing an assembly and we need a bearing block of a particular size, but the vendor does not have a 3D model of it. However, we found one similar on the web, but we want to edit it to match our design. The first thing is to remove the logo from the top. By just drawing a selection box around it and selecting Delete, notice we are able to easily remove the unwanted geometry. Next, we need to move the grease zerk to the top of the model. Again, just draw a selection box around the geometry. We can select a pivot point to rotate around and notice how Fusion 360 recognizes the edges of the imported model. Lastly, we want to remove these curved faces to more accurately match our model design. Just select them and choose Delete. So, now we have the bearing block looking the way we want, and we didn't have to create the model from scratch. We were able to reuse existing geometry. Because this was an imported model from a different CAD system, there are no features or history to work with. This is okay, because Fusion has a command called Find Features. Find Features allows you to scan for fillets, holes, chamfers, etc., or you can have it scan for everything. In this case, we'll scan for everything and draw a selection box around all of it. After a few moments, you can see that all of the features that were recognized in the browser. As you hover over each feature in the browser, it highlights it on the model. For example, if we wanted to delete the slots from the bearing block, we would just select the mirrored feature and delete it. You can also edit existing fillets by selecting them and changing the fillet size. In this example, we are changing the fillet chain all the way around the model from 2 mm down to 1 mm. The next thing we want to do is remove this small blend that goes around the indentation. Notice how it's smaller at the top? We want to change this to a chordal blend. To do this, we just find the blend in the browser and delete it. Then, we can recreate it using a chordal blend of one millimeter. Also, if you need to, you can switch to Capturing Design History. This will put the imported model into the timeline as a base feature. Now, any edits that you make to the model will be captured into the timeline. In this video, you saw how using Find Features can allow you to quickly find and even edit features on an imported model that came in with no features.